Leaders in Benton held an open house tonight to discuss building a new bike path in and around town. They want to get feedback from people in the community to make sure their plans are on the right path. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon has the story. This is about uh, finding out from residents in terms of where they like to bike to in the, in the future. And with the input from the open house, as well as surveys, the planning committee believes they have a good idea of what the people want to see when it comes to a future bike path. We've seen a lot of is, is a desire to connect to the trails that are around Wren Lake. So I think folks really want to connect you know, downtown and, and, and Benton in general um, to the existing trail system. Shane Martin lives in Benton, and he says one of the best parts about the idea is developing a path that leads from Rin Lake to the city. I love it, especially if we could connect the Rin Lake Trail into you know, a trail down 37 that's safe or somewhere to, to connect to downtown. That would be awesome. Martin is in favor of the proposals as he sees it as a great way to get kids out of the house and be more active. I'm a proponent of getting kids out of the house. They sit here like this all day long. It gets them out doing something. Those on the planning committee were also interested in hearing concerns from the people in Bitten. Concerns like those from Gerald Pyron. He's an avid biker, but he wants to make sure safety is a priority when it comes to selecting the right destination. My concern is hooking on to the paths that are already established and getting them to the park or uptown. Uh, but I, that's my concern, getting a route a safe route. And those on the planning committee say it's that type of feedback that's crucial. Oh, we've seen a lot of enthusiasm about, about the planning process. Again, we, it's a very long, long process. We, we want to make sure we hear from folks in terms of, of, of their priorities, also their concerns too, right? I mean, sometimes a bike facility isn't appropriate at every location, so we want to hear that too. I think people are excited about you know, seeing the plan come together and the ideas in, in the future. Reporting in Benton, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. There is still time to have your voice heard. City leaders are asking you to fill out a survey. You can find that by going to BentonBikePlan.com.